Alright, so if you play Escape from Tarkov, you've probably taken your knife out at some point in the past and tried to actually get it to do damage. Only to find what appeared to be a deadly edged weapon your character was wielding is actually a dull piece of trash. Odds are when you got out of raid, you junked that knife like the used toothpick it is. From there, a lot of people will choose to never bring a melee weapon in again, preserving that slot for making a few odd ruples from knives and shovels you find on scavs. Others will recognize that if they had a decent melee weapon, maybe it would help them out as a last resort Hail Mary kind of thing. Finally, there's the type who will look at this stupid, unreasonable way they let their character die and think, yeah, I should try that again. Got him. Kill two. Oh. Oh, damn, Caleb, what's wrong with you, man? Psychopath! I guess you are! Is it you? Yeah, dead. Going for it. He's on top of this fucking rock! What do I do about this? Get him, he's a lame ass. Tequila right here. Hey. Nice. Target acquired. Go for it. Damn it. It was a nice jump shot. But I broke my legs. Get back here! GG. <laughs> so when you think of a hatchling in Tarkov, the first thing that comes to mind is probably not a very flattering image. Generally, the stigma is that hatchlings play like cowards, dropping no loot and proving no threat, but still worth seeking out and destroying due to their penchant for running straight to the valuable loot on the map and stuffing it into their alpha container, where you can't get it. While this certainly may have been true at one point, Battlestate Games has, over the years, tried to de-incentivize hatchet running in this way. For instance, if you die without a gun equipped, you will return to your hideout at 1% HP rather than the normal 40% or so. This means that healing your character up between raids for a hatchling costs a bit more than it does for everyone else. And this price difference is about equal to the price of a cheap pistol anyway. There's also the tagged and cursed mechanic, which is a mechanic that makes AI scabs early in a raid specifically seek out and target people who don't bring guns in. So anyone whose plan is to just run to the value spawns on a map, loot, and die would honestly be better off just bringing in a pistol. These days, if you want to have success as a hatchling, you need to be prepared to actually kill something with your melee weapon. Even if all that is is an AI scav. So how do you get melee kills? As I'm sure you have noticed with melee mechanics in Tarkov, they, they can be pretty unintuitive and hard to figure out. You might even think that melee is nothing but a joke. Not capable of doing anything you couldn't do better with a PM pistol, and only usable against the most unaware of new players. However, I'm here to rebuke this notion. Melee has several benefits that aren't available from firearms of any sort, cheap or not. For instance, melee is the single quietest way to kill something in the game. When you're trying to get through an area with a PMC presence, being able to silently kill a scab without anyone knowing what's happening, even if they're merely a couple rooms away from you, is a valuable skill that cannot be understated. Melee weapons also have inherent armor penetration. Unlike firearms, which all have unique armor penning properties based on the bullet, melee instead always just does 60% of its full damage through the target's armor, regardless of the armor's quality. This means that if you have enough strength to reach 58 damage with one melee attack, you will always one-tap any player through their helmet. This is a property utterly unique to melee. Sure, there are plenty of powerful, expensive rounds in the game that have enough penetration and damage to kill players in one shot through any helmet. However, all these rounds have a significant chance to ricochet off the enemy helmet, robbing you of what was supposed to be a guaranteed kill. This can't happen with melee. Despite its reputation as being gimmicky and useless, hitting someone with your axe is in a way the single most reliable way to kill a player in the game. Consistent damage is all well and good, you might be thinking, but have you swung one of those things? They feel wonky as heck, and are impossible to control. Well, as much as melee in this game might seem like a crapshoot at first, 
It's actually very consistent. And all you need to have success with it is understanding the two main martial arts styles in Tarkov. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, anyone who wishes to learn Kung Fu must first find a master. So in order to teach us the ways of the Mantis, let me introduce to you the OG Mantis himself, Oscar the Gratch. Hi guys, Oscar the Gratch here, longtime Tarkov player and even longer time neighbor of Sonic Liquid Gold. And today, we are talking about the Mantis technique. Do you remember when you first started playing Tarkov and you would stand too close to walls and shoulder check your gun, often at the worst times like peeking a corner? Well that mechanic that used to be a thorn in your side is now going to be your best friend as we use it against our opponent. In Escape from Tarkov, if a player's gun is too close to another object, wall, or person in the game, it is pushed up into the air and out of their control, rendering the gun useless. We use this to our advantage by pressing right up against the enemy, using our shoulder to press the gun up and away, and slowly strafing in one direction while chopping with melee attacks. Our attacks always seem to hit, whereas their gun is flailing wildly, shooting at the sky. It's important to keep yourself pressed just to the left of their body and pay attention to their movements. The Mantis technique can be used to kill players, but is notably most effective against AI and bosses, as we'll see in just a second. But first, I want you to picture yourself as Kip from Napoleon Dynamite. See the way he keeps his target at a distance and strikes at just the perfect moment? Textbook Mantis. Or this clip of Sonic killing Tagila. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. I mean, literally, the, the bigger their guns are, the easier the Mantis technique is to pull off. The Mantis technique is just one of the styles that we came up with in our adventures in Tarkov. For more, I'm gonna hand the mic back to Sonic Liquid Gold. Coming, man. I'm out of arm stamp. I'm just barrel locking. He's dead. You fucking nearly him. The Mantis Technique is an effective, practical style of combat that should be the first strategy you learn in your quest to master Kung Fu. Even a fresh character with almost no strength can still utilize the way of the Mantis, making it the perfect way to get a foot in the door and wet your toes with melee. Yet, after you achieved enough time training your body and mind, you will find this isn't the only means of defeating your enemies. While the Mantis technique relies on controlling your opponent, delivering maiming strikes while focusing on avoiding being struck down, the more A method is a lot more direct in its approach. Instead of focusing on positioning your character in relation to your opponent, the more A user will instead be focused entirely on striking down the enemy in one blow. Surprise! Whether you approach with stealth and caution, waiting for the perfect moment to strike, or barrel at your opponent with reckless abandon. Grenade launcher. The master of the moray will try to end the fight the very instant he is within range. This sort of consistency in kill power is only achievable through gaining enough strength. How much strength depends on which weapon you have, shown here for the viable weapon options. Once you hit these thresholds, then there's no longer any helmet that can prevent you from downing your opponent in a single strike, allowing us to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most geared men in the game, and, assuming we can hit, match how long it takes them to take us down. But then, how do we make our weapon consistently connect with the enemy's head? Well, when you use a melee weapon's strong attack animation, you get what's called a lingering hitbox effect at the end of your attack. This will give you a fraction of a second longer than you might think to reposition your blade. So, when lining up your attack, the best means to consistently hit the head, in my experience, is to actually shoot for above the enemy, then bring the blade downwards as you strike. This will ensure you don't accidentally connect with a chest or arm, and allow you to adjust the attack mid-swing if you end up striking too high. This isn't a foolproof method, however. Knife play in Tarkov requires precision and timing, and the only way you will be able to consistently one-tap other players with melee is through practice. The Moray method is a fantastic means of opening an encounter, allowing you to potentially end the fight before the enemy can even get a shot off. However, if things go awry and you whiff your opening Moray, Always be ready to fall back on the old reliable Mantis. Being able to transition from a failed coup de grace to a more controlling Mantis position is the best way to give you a fighting chance against other players. 
a master of these two techniques will be prepared to deal with almost any threat in Tarkov. And though no matter of Kung Fu training will be able to save you from a good sniper as you cross an open area, I've managed to max my stats, stash, and traders with a standard edition account this wipe, using only melee outside of a few odd required gun tasks. And I have these strategies to thank for that. Thanks to everyone who stuck around to hear me ramble. Whether that's aspiring hatchlings, average Tarkov players who just want a reliable backup weapon, or curious onlookers simply amazed anyone would think melee is usable. I hope you got something from this video. For more tips and tricks to melee, subscribe to this channel. I'll be pumping out melee-based Tarkov content for the foreseeable future. And to all of you guys, thanks for watching. Now go show them how the samurai succeed.